Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. We're on another motorcycle ride, headed to Greasermer's Mill Covered Bridge in Spanglersville. Now as we pull out the driveway, you can see we have picked another blue sky day for this ride. And even though it's in the summertime, it was a bit chilly this morning in the 50s. So Marie has a vest on and I'm wearing a long sleeve tee just to keep that chill off until the sun warms it up. It should go up to 72 degrees today. For those of you new to the channel, we live in Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. And, you know, the weather obviously is nice in the summer and then in the wintertime, we don't do much riding on the bikes. Everything good? And for those of you new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. That helps us out a lot. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Our channel has videos on motorcycle reviews and motorcycle rides, on boating and fishing, and on camping and travel. So if you're kind of an adventure junkie, you might want to consider uh, following us on YouTube. And over on the channel, if you click on playlist, you'll see that we have the videos organized by content area. So that'll help you find the specific videos that you're interested in and you won't have to look through you know every single video we put up there if you're just interested in one of those categories Now, Greasemer Mill Covered Bridge is located uh, almost right around the corner from the Pleasantville Covered Bridge that we reviewed in a previous video. this ride I am on a 2013 Harley Davidson switchback and Marie is on a 2009 Harley Davidson Sportster 1200 low and I've had my bike since 2013 this is the second summer that Marie has had uh, the Sportster so she's really doing well as you can see uh, you know she doesn't hesitate when she's riding still gets a little nervous you know, it's stop signs that are on a hill, but she hasn't had any problems. Now, 
Greesimer uh, Mill covered bridge is located in the Ole area, halfway between Boyertown and Ole. And this particular covered bridge was built in 1832. And this bridge is 124 feet long. And it is the Burr Trust Bridge construction that you've seen in the other bridges uh, that we've looked at. And this one crosses the Manitoni Creek. And you see, it's a, it's a pretty nice creek. There was a car parked there. I'm sure someone was fishing uh, downstream from us when we were there. It does have the stone abutments at either end. And it is a 10 foot, five inch clearance. And the understructure is all wood also. Um, some of the other bridges, they, they might have a concrete structure for the cars and trucks to run on. But this is uh, built like the original design uh, that was wood. The roof on this one, I believe, is a tin roof. So this is, uh, I believe this is the oldest one uh, that's still operating in Berks County. There are five in Berks County, and uh, we'll uh, have a playlist up on the channel specific to the covered bridges that we rode the motorcycles uh, to in Berks County. Now the mill was a grist mill. It was built in 1847. It's 40 by 60, three and a half stories high. And it was built by D. L. and E. Greesimer. And the mill's in good condition even today. It looks really good. Uh, it's across from the Wagner farm, which you can see in the background. It used the water from the Manitoni Creek uh, in its operation. Now, if you've been watching a lot of our motorcycle ride videos, you've noticed in the scenery uh, quite a few stone homes and farms and barns. And, and in this area, it's a lot of German descent, and a lot of them were masons, and it came natural to just build things out of the stone and rock that was available. So a lot of these stone homes that were built were built out of stone simply because uh, the skill set was there and also the materials were there. Coming up on the right is the Inn at Monotoni, which is a fun place to ride the motorcycles to and have lunch. And on the left is a roller rink. When we were kids, umpteen years ago, we used to have skating parties in there back when roller skating was real popular.
Now as we approach this turn and uh, turn this corner, uh, the bridge will start to come in sight. And we're going to pull off on the right hand side and then walk up and take a look at the bridge. So once we're done parking, we'll check it out. Up on Greasemer's Mill Bridge. Let's see what you think. There's a weight limit on this one, three tons. Here we can see stone walls leading up to it. Notice there's a 10 foot 5 inch clearance, so this is similar to the Pleasantville bridge clearance, but much taller, much taller than the Kutz Mill Bridge. There is a nice stream down there for fishing. One thing we're finding by checking out all these bridges is some great spots to fish. You can see this is on the Berks County Historical Sites. And it is the uh, Bird Trust System, the old Bird Trust System. And this has a wood deck. But it does look like it has a tin roof and wooden sides. Makes a nice rattle noise when you drive over. This was part of the old mill right here on the corner. But you can see that water is beautiful. Nice fishy water. So this is Greasermer's Mill Bridge. One of the covered bridges of the county. Here you can see this is a wooden bridge. All wooden construction except for the stone pillars. A little bit of concrete over there. this video if you did what could they do to help us Marie subscribe it's free it does help us out a lot also if you want to know each time we put up a new video you can ring the bell and finally if you really enjoyed this video what could they do Marie give us a thumbs up but more important than all that go have some fun out there thanks for watching